How's it going, you guys? Michael Shamblum here. Today I'm going to be going over a few features in Adobe Premiere Rush. Um, so Rush is a little bit different than Premiere Pro, as Premiere Pro is a larger program uh, made for more professional video editing. It's what I use at home, but sometimes when I'm out in field, I just want to edit some mobile clips, or I want to do like a super quick edit on my phone, and in that case, this program is perfect because it allows you to sync from your desktop to your phone. So I can load up some video clips onto my desktop, and then I can actually sync it to my phone and edit on the go. So let's go ahead and pop open Premiere Rush. All right, so you'll notice I have some projects here. If you want to create a new project, pop open the little plus icon, add media, and you can add a bunch of clips from your phone or wherever. If you have your DSLR synced up via Wi-Fi, you can also upload those clips straight from your phone into Premiere. So in this album, I can just load up a few clips, click create, and then it shows us our timeline. So these are all uh, vertical shots done from my phone, so I can upload something to Instagram stories, I can make a super quick montage, throw that up onto stories, but let's pop back over to my projects, and I've actually got some of that footage loaded from my computer and I even have a song in here. If you want to upload a song, you can actually also do that from your phone. So if I pop over to the blue plus icon, click on media, I actually have a song on Dropbox, so I can pop over there, grab the song, add it in, it's gonna prepare the media, and now we have an audio track onto our timeline. So this is just some footage that I shot in New Zealand. And we can clip the audio track if we want to change where it starts. And this is just a drag and drop program. So I just hold down what I want to drag. I can move it along the timeline. If you take both fingers and you push them outward, you can make the timeline bigger. We can also move clips very easily. You just hold it down and then move it where you want it. So if we want that uh, shot going third instead of second, we can do that right here. And of course, if you want to change the duration of the clip, it's very simple. Just hold down on the back end of any of these shots and drag it in to make it shorter and to clip the end of the shot, or you can drag it out to see more of the shot and then vice versa for the start of the shot. So looking at a few key features here, if you want to do any color correction, very simple. You've got some presets here, and then of course we can go in and edit exposure, contrast, highlights. So I'm going to add a little bit of contrast here, take down my highlights, add a little bit of vibrance to the shot, maybe even a little bit of tint. And actually, I'm going to warm the shot up a little bit since it's looking a little bit blue. And you can even add a vignette if you want. So we'll add a sort of a vignette here, feathered to 100. So you can do this for all your clips, do all your color correction right here in the program. You can add transitions, which is quite nice. So if you want to add a nice cross dissolve or you want to fade the first and last clip, just drag and drop where you want it. You should see the little spot pop open. We can zoom into here to see the actual transition. So we can actually make the transition a little bit longer here. So if we just play that back, there's your crossfade. If you want to transform your clip, like let's say you have shots that are at 1080, some that are 4K, some that are different sizes, there's a transform tool right here. So we can change the scale. We can move the position, so that can be helpful if you're bringing in different sized clips or if you just want to resize it. And then of course, let's take a look at the speed function. So the speed function is definitely one that I'm excited about because I like to change the speed of my clips on my phone and this makes it very simple to do so. All right, so here I've got this 
shot of fog, which I think looks quite nice. But I think it would be fun to start out slow and then have the clip turn into kind of a time lapse towards the end. And this is very simple to do. So we just pop over to speed and we can change the speed right here. Um, so if I change that to 200%, it's obviously gonna make it twice as fast. And it's also changing the speed duration. So if I play that back, it's a little bit quicker. But what I wanna do here is I wanna actually add a speed ramp. So if I go over to these two blue icons, I can actually change where the speed transition will happen. So right here, that little area of blue is where the speed is gonna change. So I'm gonna change the speed to about 400. And of course it does change the duration since you're affecting the speed. Starting out slow and then it switches to 400% making it faster. But in order to do a ramp, we can do a transition into that. So, so if I zoom in here, you can start to see that little blue line. It's kind of like a blue hill that goes upwards. That's actually the speed changing over time. So now if we play this back, it starts out slow and then starts to get faster over time. So it's a cool thing to play around with fairly simple to use. So this is a really fun thing to play with if you have any slow motion shots on your phone or shots that you've done with the DSLR in slow motion or anything that you might consider turning into a time lapse. This is a great way of doing it. Now, if we click over here, we can actually see we do have multiple video layers to work with. We have different audio layers, so you can add even multiple songs. So the sequence is gonna auto default to whatever you end up uploading in here. So I uploaded a bunch of 16 by nine footage so it auto defaulted to that but let's say you did want to change the aspect ratio let's say this whole montage that i was doing was for instagram stories i could pop over here go to portrait there now we just have to resize the clips to fit into an instagram story we also have the option of doing a square crop so i think what i'm going to do here is leave it on square because i think my end goal here is to put this onto instagram now, editing to music. This one may seem a little bit tricky. It's actually quite simple using this program. So I've got this song in here. And if I zoom in, I can see where the beats are changing, those little waveforms. If we pop over to one of the waveforms with the blue line, this little marker on our timeline, and then we click and drag, we can drag the clip end right to where that waveform is because we selected it. So now if I play this back, you can see the clip changes right when the beat shifts. So we can do the same thing here. There we go. So fairly simple for clipping different shots and moving sequences and kind of making a little montage out of your footage. All right, so once you're ready to export your video, you just want to click on this button right here, the little up arrow, and then you can change different uh, quality settings. So obviously this is, a, this is 4K footage and it's quite large, so it's saying it's going to be about a gig. Uh, if you're doing anything on social media, probably better to shift it over to 1080p. So I'm going to fine tune these clips and work a little bit more with the music off camera and I'll show you what the final product looks like.
All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial about Adobe Premiere Rush. Definitely a good option if you're looking to edit things on the fly. And yeah, thanks so much for watching.